I'd like to tell you a little story about my friend Joe. Uh, he was an elder in a nearby local church and uh, was such a dear brother, was always encouraging other people. And later in life, he contracted leukemia. And I went to visit him in the hospital, and as he was lying there, I, you can't always ask people this, but I felt I could ask Joe the question, what was it from the word that was encouraging him at that time? And he quoted to me the words of Psalm 51 and verse 8, which say, Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice. And obviously this was an application rather than the interpretation of the passage. But he said, you know, that's my problem. My bones are broken. The marrow is not producing the platelets as they should. But he said, you know, whatever God decides to do with my body, that's up to him because it doesn't belong to me. It's his. But he said, my responsibility is to still rejoice, to still proclaim the goodness of God. And I'll never forget, the next door neighbor was a man who had had, by his own profession, a near-death experience. And I tried to talk to him about the Lord, and he brushed me away and said, look, everything's fine with me. I, I saw my mother there running across this field of daisies, and everything looks good for me. I'm, I'm just happy to go. He had absolutely no concern about his soul or about his sin, or about the judgment of God. And I thought, what a lie of Satan. But as I spoke with him, I said, now you see your friend across the way here, his name's Joe, and Joe has something you don't have. He's looking for his Savior, and you don't have a Savior. And the Bible makes it clear that without a Savior, you're going to perish. The Bible tells us that sometimes the devil shows up like an angel, and you've been hoodwinked. And you need to realize that unless you repent of your sin and turn to the Savior, it's not going to be a field of daisies for you, mister. But as I thought of Joe and that beautiful testimony that he had, and how he was rejoicing in the midst of his sufferings, and he was suffering, but he had learned this sweet lesson Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice. This is the victory of faith, the victory that overcomes every obstacle when we put our trust in the Lord Jesus.